Welcome back viewers, here we are just outside Dalesford for our meeting point for today's ride. We are here, it's called Two Bridges Picnic Area I believe. Quite a nice a little picnic spot. Yes, today we're going to head towards a darkies hut which is up a bit past Molden. Should be a nice ride now the sun's come out. How picturesque is that? I think Ian's got some uh, tracks picked out for us today. We may go past La Frenchie Hut again because uh, Andy hasn't seen that one. Quite a nice little ride there. And we may look around some gold mining sites. We'll see what comes along anyway. Whatever we come across, we'll go and have a look at. So, Chris on the CF Moto 450 MT. We've got Ian on the V Strom, Andy on his Himalayan, and and my bike. All right, let's follow Ian. See what tracks he's going to take us on. All right, here we are in the pine forest again, making our way to La Franchi Hut. Slippery clay, bit of clay out here. Hopefully, it's not too bad, not too wet out here. Uh, oh, our last ride out here was very, very wet. Yeah, the shading of the trees makes it hard to see the holes. I remember this part, yeah, along the little creek. Here we are already at La Frenchy Hut. Yeah, last time we took a real long way here. <laughs> This is cool. Have a little look in the hut. Oh, look at that, all the little uh, bulb things are growing. What are they growing, Andy? Are they like a bulb? I think they're going to be daffodils. Daffodils? Yeah. Anyway, this is uh, La Franchi hut. I think we've got uh, a bit of termites. Yeah. It smells like someone's had a fire going in here. Alright Ian's gonna get the drone up, now it's a nice day here. Now we're gonna make our way back to the main road, find some other sights to see. Don't forget off-road mode. Oh, you do. <laughs> when you hit the slippery stuff, you notice it. Oh. It's quite nice out here today. Plenty of tracks you can explore around here. Oh, we're in the dark forest. The dark pine forest. Imagine it'd be pretty spooky out here at night. <laughs> and he's going around. Uh, I'm just going to do it. It's not too bad. Oh no, I'm in it. <laughs> I went in it. It wasn't deep anyway. Bit of a downhill. We're going to come out to a main road up here shortly. Oh, holy shit. Oh, I feel the ABS going on there. On the front end. Holy shit. You're in. <laughs> Which way did you guys go? Oh, dude. 
Should have just gone down the track, maybe. Where are you taking me, Chris? Oh, Jesus, this is a rough way, Chris. I don't know what I'm worried about. I've got good fucking good tyres. Hang on a sec. Looks wow. like uh, there's a big, there's a big log across the track. Okay, looks like we gotta get another trick. You get the front wheel up on the on the edge of the bank and uh, use the roll back. Don't want to go too far. Oh, we're going down this lovely steep little hill. Oh, look at that, you can go. Slow down a bit, Chris, and I'll film you coming across. That's not deep. Yeah, now I have got the taller windscreen on it. It is really, really nice on the highway, but. In the bush, it does tend to get in the way. Probably gets in the way of the camera a bit. Holy crap. Holy moly. <laughs> Quite a good little area, this. Back to the road, there we go. Oh shit, I'm only here. I stalled it. Alright, let's get back out in the sunlight. Beautiful. Not semen, track semen. <laughs> it's called semen track. Oh, it got me. I shouldn't sit. Oh, I flicked it off my windscreen straight onto my visor. I shouldn't sit so close. Oh, nice big puddle. This is great riding. a little deep. You're gonna have to plant it Chris. Get a good run up. Keep it going. Hey, did that alright on stocky tyres? Right. Holy shit that's deep. Not a problem. Oh, look at that, there's a big rock. Big rock in the middle of nowhere. A big rock in the middle of nowhere there. Is this um, the rock formation? Uh, oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> no, it's just, just a random rock in the middle of nowhere. What is that? Is this a geo stash? Oh, the old box is not looking too good. I think the lid's going to break trying to get it out. I'll 
try not to break it. That's right, look at that. Stamps. Bit out of ink. It's probably been here a bit. Follow the secret track. Interesting. Hang on, are these all the same? I think they're all the same. Sweet. I wonder if they mind if I take one for a souvenir. Because I'd like to follow the secret trek. Let me have a look. I'll put all this stuff back. The box is pretty knackered, but. I'll put it back where we found you. All right, so just looking on the map, we are here. It's called Rock Formation Karuchiang. Yeah, I think those little maps were for a four-wheel drive club or something. Maybe the secret track. Yeah, there's bloody tracks going everywhere out here. I don't know, I've heard people say that a twin doesn't have the torque. You're like, yeah, that was second gear. Oh. All right, we're back to whatever road this is. Verona Road. There. Bit of bitumen to our next destination. We've just been following this ambulance and he's just done a Yui there. Yeah, looks like an elderly driver. Newstead. It's crossing the Loddon River. This is the town centre up here. Little Victorian country town. Yeah, one of the old Post and Telegraph office. Come on, make a splash. We're going to take some back roads. What is this track? That one's called Blow Mine Track. This, that's the one we're on, Blow Mine Track. Tree down. So this is the red, white and blue mine. Yeah, there was a big building here once, next to it. So we are here. There's a uh, moulding up there. Muckleford State Forest. Let's have a look. See how deep she is. Oh, friggin' hell, that is pretty deep. That goes down a fair way. I can't see the bottom. Oh, this is making me nervous up here. That's making me dizzy. I'm getting vertigo from looking down there. I reckon Andy could ride up that. Let, let's see the Himalayan going up there, man. Yeah, I'm not sure what was there. Just some footings now. Yeah, nice. Just had lunch. This little table here. At the blue and white mine. Blue, white and red mine. Red, white and blue? Red, white and blue, I think. <laughs> yeah, one of them. Sorry. Muckleford, we were at. So, we've still got a bit of bit to go. Molden's up here. And then we're just going to go a little bit past Molden. But we'll take some more tracks on the way there. This track we're on now is called Tat Town Track. Tat Town. 
Yeah, there's a lot of little tracks out here. Uh, we're just heading down the road to the Rock of Ages. We're still on the way to Darkie's Hut. We've just come off road. What was that one? Nuggins track. We're just going down Jones track. It is a four wheel drive track, apparently. As you can see. Yeah, look at that. A few mine shafts. There's a bit of a hole down there. What's going on? Are you going the wrong way? Oh, I think we're doing a Huey. <laughs> What's he doing? Or is he stopping? Okay. And he's turning around. We'll uh, have a little look here. I went past it. Did you? Oh, you went past it. Yeah, my map said done. Well, okay. I don't know if it's up there. I just want to have a quick look down here. Yeah. Looks like a big hole. That's why you need a big foot on your, on your stand. What is this? It's just a big hole. Let's have a look at a big hole. <laughs> Don't land on that fence. Bit of rock climbing. This is quite a big heap. Here we are, Ducky's hut. Yeah, she's a really nice view up here. This is Ducky's hut. We found it. Big old fireplace here at the front. Fire pit. It's quite a size hut. It's not a real, real old hut. This one, it was um, built in 1984, I believe. Look at that. Fry pan. Box of redhead matches. Bit of a sink over there. It doesn't really do much, no water. Little pouch to put your uh, six shooter. Some nice little uh, camping spots here. Yeah, you got a big water tank there, they would have been old oil heaters up there. Looks like years ago someone took a bit of a carving out of this tree. Yeah, I can hear the uh, steam train. Yeah, because when we come up, they were running all the diesel thing. The steam one was hitting. Don't know if you can hear that on the camera. It's the old steam train from Molden to Castle Main, isn't it? I think. Alright, that's where we are, Darkie's Hut. You got over here, the Victorian Goldfields Railway in Malden. Terengoa lookout there, and there's Malden down here. See how there's a swing. Good shelter. Just passing through people. Not stopping. Oh, it's a bit tight on the way out. <laughs> cool 
called the Rock of Ages. Let's go. Of ages, I guess. Yeah, it took us ages to get here. Oops, people here. <laughs> Caning it across the rocks. Alright. I guess this is it. Rock of ages. Oh, look, there's uh, Mount Terran Gower over there yeah. on that next hill. That's where we're going to go next. All right, well, this is Rock of Ages, so... Just looks like a pile of rocks. There's a face. It's an ancient face. It looks like a person. Yeah, it looks like a body. You see the eyes and the nose. It's very, um... Very soft rock, actually. Rock of Ages. I'm going to head over to Mount Terangoa. <laughs> Nearly got Andy with the mud. Hang on, it's just where we're going. This is Butts Reserve, little uh, picnic area. Toilets and stuff here. Yeah, but so they have the famous Mount Tarragawa race up here and the old cars. We'll see some pictures of it when we get up there. Oh, here we are. Tarragawa lookout. I wonder if we can get up there. I hate walking up these friggin' things, but I still do it. Dines around here. Fire spotting over 60 years of vigilance. Where are we? Oh, you're here. Just outside of Molden. Castle Main. Dalesford's back down here. Many go. How'd you like your racing up here? Well, they weren't racing there. They're just horse and buggies. <laughs> But over here, that is a picture of them. But they have original stuff. Here and guard the bikes, okay? Let's go up. There's molding down there. Is it rocking? <laughs> Don't do it. I'll be on my hands and knees. See Andy's bike? All right. Mary Barra Pyrenees. Straight over that way. And the Grampians, the Grampians are way back over those other hills. It's a fair way off. All right, I'm gonna get down here now and we'll go find some tracks over that side. We're gonna go and have a look at the mines now. We're gonna see where this track goes. Oswald's famous workshops. Yeah, there's probably quite a structure here once upon a time. That one looks like it's full of mozzies. Yeah, so there's the other other side of that mound a few kilns I think they were Molden Motor Museum here we are just coming through Molden 
Oops, I don't know where we're turning there. Are we? All right, well, looks like we're going to park here. There's a cafe over there. Another takeaway there. To say goodbye to the guys we're going to head back to Geelong and heading back to Ballarat you see some pretty nasty clouds up there anyway yeah that's what my map says to do go around the block we'll just go for a little scenic ride it's always pretty busy with uh, tourists here just like Dalesford always chockers there's the old Molden Hotel Anyway, we'll go around the block and then we'll head home. There's the old beehive chimney over there. Alright, I guess we're going to head to Castle, Maine. Oh. We'll end the video here and we'll uh, make our way back. There's not much more else to see now, we're just going to do the bitumen. And hopefully we don't get wet. Alright guys, see you later.